Fighters who fell off. Gregor Gillespie. Bro just went missing after 2020. Mostly known for his nasty KO loss against Kevin Lee. Yeah! Which was his only career loss. Last fought in 2020, but since then he has been removed from the ranking and it's unclear why he isn't competing. As he stated on his Twitter, he's been offered fights, but nothing has materialized. In the year of 2024, Gillespie is 37, so we probably won't see him inside the octagon again. Next, Darren Till. Once considered the next big thing, was rapidly climbing the ranks and even challenged for the title, is now not even in a promotion. Not gonna lie, his losses are aging pretty well as nearly all of them were against title challengers or former champions. Don't know what's next for Darren, but he's only 31 and still has time. Next up, Marlon Moraes. Now the Marlon decline was sad, seven losses in a row after being a top contender and title challenger. The thing about Marlon's decline is you can't really pinpoint what went wrong. For most people, downfall usually falls back on an old age or a loss in confidence. But in Marlon's case, it wasn't either. Next, Taiwan Ridley. Former welterweight champion to being knocked out by Disney YouTube star turned boxer Jake Paul. <laughs> From being considered a top two welterweight of all time to now being known as the guy who got knocked out by Jake Paul. Enough said. Next, Kevin Lee. Kevin went from challenging Tony Ferguson for the interim belt to fighting a 40-year-old Diego Sanchez in Eagle FC. Crazy thing is, is Kevin is only 31 years old with 19 UFC fights. Unlike most guys on the list, Kevin has a chance to actually redeem himself. He retired almost a year ago after being submitted within a minute of his UFC return. Lee on the oh, oh, that's out. Don't Don't know. Know. I'm still squeezing no. away. That but a few months ago, he's unretired and decided he's going to make another UFC run. I believe Kevin should probably fight at 155 when he returns because he seems uncomfortable fighting at 170. Last, Tony Ferguson, once considered the boogeyman holding the longest win streak in lightweight history to now having lost seven straight fights. The Justin Gaethje fight gives me nightmares to this day. Come on, Tony. Oh, oh, Tony's hurt. He's hurt real he's bad. Real hurt. Oh, he's hurt bad. They're going to stop the fight. That's it. Oh, man. Hey, but on the bright side, five fights in a title. Five fights in a title, baby. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe.